Oh, hello everyone. Uh, I'm very excited to present to you uh, this uh, tutorial about RESTful roads. Uh, it rep is a representational state transfer that allows communication between clients and servers. It's a very useful tool. Uh, it's a way of working. Now, are you wondering uh, what, what kind of operation uh, we need to implement. Well, let's say uh, the get. Uh, we retrieve information. The data is sent by query stream. Uh, the information is uh, visible from the URL. Uh, but limited amount of data uh, we can get. Okay, uh, we get forms. Uh, from which uh, we can write some kind of information and that's it, we get something back, okay? Now, we post, uh, uh, we can post data to the server uh, via requested body in the form that, for example, JSON format, but it can be uh, another format. And uh, we is used to create, write, and update something okay for example description uh, comments uh, items uh, from a list or whatever okay now uh, let's say at the end of the tutorial i'm going to show you a simple uh, app that uh, adheres uh, to the rest okay first of all we have this show page it shows the list of all the items uh, let's say you got uh, for example uh, to shop or electronics shop and you need to listen uh, to list all of them okay this way now uh, the full crude operation they are a uh, a structure okay we need to have a base from where we 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 are beginning to work okay first of all we need to create an item okay how to create okay for example uh, we create a new item this is a, a get form we get a form to display something let's say for example uh, we write something like like for for Mustang okay let's say on the description this model okay fine good we, we get this now to create one if we go back the plan is to create back we need to we got the index to create back we need two operations we need to uh, the new we, we need to get the form over here get that's the form we are getting here and after that we need to actually create to create a post in this case we are adding a new card we just submit it and there you are okay this is the first the second step we got the index our base and now we get the second step we get the form and we create the a uh, new item in this guy in this case and uh, a new form model okay the third one is what we need to show we need to show uh, our car okay that's why we need to go to the for Mustang and display this over here with a specific ID, the name of the car and the description. Okay, we go back home. Okay, the fourth one, uh, as, you, as you have seen, we only have a get uh, to display uh, our specific car. Okay. Now, to edit, let's say we got an item, for example, are you selling in your shop, like electronic devices? 
uh, you got a new model for the people to see but um, in two days uh, it's not available anymore okay well you you need to update your product okay so let's go back to the application for example a uh, Subaru Impresa let's say you got a renting car or an agency okay Subaru Impresa now you need first step to edit the description now we get the form the first step edit we get the form the first step and then the second step we update it actually we did it with a post method okay uh, in this case we use put if we want to replace all the body okay or also we can use patch the method okay if we want only modify partially okay now let's see Subaru is not available anymore it is not available this week okay first step we got the edit form then if we save it we actually patch okay in this case put because all I modified I replaced all the content but you just can only modify part of them save it okay go back to the show page uh, super impresa is not available this week okay this in this way we edit and update the description our product our item okay and the last step of the crude operation is the delete method okay we only uh, work with get because we we just need to take rid of an item a description or something we don't need to update it or render something we just need to uh, take rid, delete or remove from our list okay let's see what uh, let's say super impresa is not available but right now uh, you don't want to modify anything so you click show more uh, in this year you are not going to sell any super impresa so you just delete it and don't waste your time just delete it and go back you we don't have any super impresa let's see there is no more audit t delete i will have any audit t okay this is uh, at the end of the video uh, this is the application we are about to create follow all these rules okay i'm very excited because this is a project base you can use it to um, to better your to improve your programming skills and after that you can add some features or you can use it a product or an item a list of i don't know uh, rooms available or let's say you got an hotel or a shop or something okay so let's begin with first we need to create the index uh, operation okay follow this order first we got a base where we need to put the root slash item the second one we need to get remember to create a new item we need to get the form and then to post actually the uh, into this form slash item okay after that we need to show a specific uh, a detail of some item so we just need to to get a view exactly we don't post anything okay after that actually we got uh, the edit form in this form and we update uh, it could be put or patch method depends on your requirements remember with put you replace all the body and with the patch we modify partially and finally we got uh, the get uh, to delete the item 
follow this path okay uh, if you want you can you can grab down this pause the video and grab down on a list all these steps and the comments uh, because it's very useful to go through uh, all the tutorial okay so let's move on to the first step okay my friends for the base pattern we just uh, need to make a tier this is a pattern we can use but you can use as uh, as you want okay first of all we need a base okay uh, from which we are going to display all the items they could be products they could be a li list of items uh, in this case uh, we're gonna work with uh, a beautiful car models uh, it could be an agency a shop or just simply a, a blog where you show you favorite car okay okay let's make a deal let's call it rest okay inside of this let's create a, a app like my rest app that yes okay okay let's clear this fine uh, first of all let's create an express session so npm install express fine now uh, npm install globally no demo just in, just in case uh, we could install it globally just in case uh, you don't have it and after that uh, we want to open our app our js file okay on vs code open the file i rest app okay now first of all we need to require Express const express is equals to require express just like that const app to call it express uh, to actually uh, run the server and as we're going to show some templates okay some views so we need to also require the path okay it's very useful uh, to work with some directories require path okay fine we can uh, keep moving like app set to say the views okay and the directory like with this method path that join just like that and double underscore their name fine and we just put the default views okay as simple as that after that we can continue like app that set to build engine that space AES okay and below as uh, we're going to show you we, we can send um, in forms we need to tell express okay I'm gonna work with you but uh, I'm gonna work with you with the uh, extended URL in code okay so to do that we use 
app that use we put like express that url encoded and we set this extended to be to be true okay that's fine back go down and we just put like app that use express that json that's fine okay control save it and we just need it below app that listen on the port 3000 Okay, the callback function, the error function, and we just put here like console.log serving on port 3000. Okay, that's fine. Control save it. We go back here. Let's clear it. Okay, inside of this, we just if we installed no demon no demon okay my rest app that js serving on port okay fine i just created a as you can see an object with car model and description uh, you can create a for example, if you got a, a shop and you sell like shoes or some clothes, um, you can use like the the model of your shoes or and the description. Okay, it's up to you. Now uh, we need to show this uh, on the home page. Okay, all the items. To do that, first we need to create. Uh, a director like, like dear views okay inside of it also we need to make a dear make dear items another folder and inside of items we just create an AES file like index okay fine let's open it in visual studio code inside of views items index okay fine for this for example we just put like some be out full cars okay Let's save it. Right now we just scan like app get app get uh, we put items okay and after that we just put the request and response request response the callback function in and the curly braces uh, we just can rest that send uh, like hello okay save it let's go open the browser Oh, we just need to go back and not the email my rest app that is start a server hello and um, now instead of this 
we need to rest render we need to render okay the items index okay all the items fine let's save it some beautiful cast now uh, we need to go to the index AES to show actually all of them. How do we do that? Okay, uh, in a form of a list, of course. Uh, you can also create like a table or some pics also. But for now, just to show, show you the example, let's create a list where inside of this we just iterate open and close without the equal sign okay let's say for at i of items close the parents okay let's open let's open the curly braces and of course we need to close it okay don't forget it go to the end that's fine for now inside of this we just create a list where we can put like the car model let's say in bold and of course dynamically we just put inside this close also inside of this we just put i car model okay just like that inside of this just uh, we bought it but next to it we need to uh, show the description right so the same open and close it and put i that description just like that okay we open we close the list and we got here everything's fine and let's put some Okay, I'm going to save it. Okay. Now we go to the we sure we have the server. Refresh it. And we got it. On board. Okay. The car model and the description. Okay. Now this is all for this video. This is the, the first part. Remember, uh, this is the base. What we got here? First, we need to create the express session. Okay, if we don't have express on the terminal. We just make a deal for all the project. Okay, first of all, then we we just uh, install the. Uh, no package manager uh, express also we install AGS for the templates okay after that uh, we just run the server we will be sure we we are listening okay here and then at the middle of this step uh, we just create an object with all the items we need okay because we don't have a, a database uh, still so we just need uh, to fake it then we create a folder uh, views and the items inside of it and our file index AES okay on this folder we just 
uh, iterate about uh, all the items okay and just show it the car model and the description the car model on both of course uh, restart the server and don't forget the root okay we just put because if we go to localhost we get nothing okay items items refresh it okay now uh, the next step uh, I'm gonna show you how to create a new for example in your blog you want to add like a Ferrari or McLaren or something uh, just to create another one and the description okay we need right now to add a new car okay a new car a new item for your show uh, it could be anything anything you can imagine okay now let's go to the JS file okay here on our roots we just put app that get let's say also items okay slash new that's our root okay now it's request and response Uh, what we got here? Okay, we just press that render and the root like items items slash new just like that. Okay, now uh, we need to create uh, a file. Let's stop the server. clear we go inside views also uh, let's say inside of items fine let's create a file touch new that AES and opening inside of BS code views items new Fine. Exclamation mark. Hit tap. Okay. We need to create. Uh, first of all, we need to because we need to send the some data in a form. Okay. Remember uh, to create a new item. Uh, uh, we need two steps. First, we need to get a form with here. Okay. We need to get a form where you can write the model and the description and then we need to write actually we need to create it we need to post it okay first of all the first step we need to we're going to get the form okay so let's go and work on the form on the new AGS file okay now uh, first here inside the body, we just put a form, okay, with an action here. The action, uh, let's say, items, action, items, okay, with method. It should be, of course, post, post, okay, fine, now, uh, we just put model, 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 we got an input, okay. A 
an input and type text text fine and the name car model okay after that we just put a break Okay, and also we need a label. We need a label. Okay, to do what? Well, the enter the description itself. Enter the description. Okay, after that we just duplicate this and go down duplicate this okay after this break we just put a text text area okay with a row of for example let's say five okay five calls let's say 40 okay and the name to actually put the description okay break okay and just uh, input type let's see submit something to submit okay fine what we got here is to uh, we are creating the form okay uh, to send the data to 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 request okay in a form and after that we need to the second step we need to to post it okay now to save it let's go and run the server with no demo okay starting serving on port refresh items and the root of course is items slash new cannot get items new why our root this it should be uh, items new restaurant the items new let's see the javascript file items new let's render Ah, I think no. Control save it. Items. Items. New. Okay, fail to look up view items. Items new. Let's see what happened. We just save it, and uh, this is inside of views and items folder. So let's try items. Let uh, app get. Let's see what happened here. App get items new request and response here. The callback function and rest and render items. Uh, new I'm not sure what's happening here I'm to save it let's see if Form action. 
to save it. Okay. Fine. The model and the description. Okay. We just need to refresh it. So uh, this is the form. We can like uh, Ferrari. Write something. Stop. Okay. And let's see. Just uh, Rosa. Okay. Uh, we're missing the submit mode button. Input. To save it. Input type. No, this is input. Okay, and we just put the input, input, let's say type, submit, okay, save it, refresh, input, new, okay, we got the, the form, uh, we just can like Alfa Romeo this is from Milano okay submit okay but actually we cannot post I we just receiving a form uh, as a request okay but actually uh, we need to post it okay and this is the second step okay to send it out and where to send it okay to actually be able to add the new model okay okay now down here we just put app that post okay where okay on 
items okay request and response fine and for now let's see like on console log because uh, to post we need to uh, to get the the body to request the body okay and let's see what's happening okay and just press that same like posting new cars okay okay come to save it now let's see again that's new let's see like a uh, fiat that one this is from a uh, torino okay submit Posting new cards, okay. Now, if we see the console here, we just console that log what the body, okay. By the mark, the by, by the body, we means the car model and the description, okay. Probably. Fine. We just get in the the bar, okay. Now, uh, here we have done with this. So we have set uh, two rods, okay. Here, the first of all, we request the form, and the second one, we actually post it. We create it. Uh, we normally do this uh, in a database, but we just uh, created this already. Okay. Now, most important because every time we pull, uh, we add a new car, uh, we need to write this instead of refreshing. Okay, and sending again uh, the request. We just use it the ready dead method down here and how with that okay just uh, here refresh the page and we submit okay now uh, after we do, we do that we just like Let's put here something like press that ready leg. Okay, to the home page. Fine. And now uh, we just find the uh, request that body, but how do we do? to actually uh, put this in our array of items here here okay I think you guess it with the push method okay now second we first we need to take rid of the of this and uh, we know we got it and create a constant okay of car model okay and the description of car model and the description yes okay is equal to requested by close here here okay fine 
we just save it into a constant like that and we just need to add it to the array like with this method to the items array item push open fine car model and click and the description fine and so save it and uh, now let's see we got the server first the page let's add a new one like let's try like to your And let's put like this is a classic one. Okay. Now submit posting new cars. Okay. Fine. Now if we refresh the page, we got it this one pushed on our array fine now uh, let's see here if fine come to save it now uh, let's create go to uh, the new okay we just put an anchor tag h ref okay uh, to go to items no yeah like that and we say like home come to save it okay slash new go home okay maybe we can put like here come to save it So here in items, let's go there and do the same. On index, yes. Uh, we can put like Save it. There's a page. Add a new card. And we got it. Go back. Fine. Now uh, we've done with uh, to the first routes. The first one is the base one, where we create the index AES. Okay. To show all the models here. This one items we choose items okay after that what we got it here we uh, make a request for the let's put here index route okay and the second one is the new route 
to add a new item, a new model, a new shoe or something here, okay? And basically, we got the the form. You need to create the form, and the second one you need to actually create create let's say post whatever you you need it for whatever you need it for okay fine next uh, we're going to show uh, for example uh, let's say I want to to see just uh, the Audi okay to see the details I want to see the this uh, Adidas choose and expand or see the details or show all the content okay or the prices uh, the conditions and this is the third route and it's called uh, you can call it like details show expand or something okay to show details about a particular uh, car model okay right now uh, we need to uh, show the details of uh, I don't know the item or the car model or whatever you are working on for example the product if you sell uh, shoes you can show uh, the description of a specific shoe and how do we do that okay we just uh, every car model has an ID uh, as well as uh, the description we just need to find the ID and create uh, the root uh, to show it into the template to render okay now to do that we just create the root at app get okay let's say two items and as we see is the ID items slash ID okay we make this, this request response okay and now we need to require the params okay the params and we need to save it into a variable ID okay just like that then we need to find the item we need to find the item and let's say I is Uh, I that ID okay and let's say uh, is equal to ID okay fine and then we just save it into a const description description just like that okay and after that we just render we already find it uh, we just need to render it press the render to items and the show page we are about to create okay now this id want to save it we need to create it okay now in the object we just put a for example an id so the first one let's say this is the first car okay let's duplicate it and copy control copy let's put here okay this is the number two number three Four and the last one. 
five. Okay, four, five. We got five IDs, five items to uh, work with. Okay, and show it now. Um, as I said before, uh, we're working with. Uh, we need to actually, uh, if we find it, we need to parse in as we are working with IDs. Okay, now there's a render in the show. And right now, uh, we go to the terminal uh, inside of views inside of items we just create the show page AES and open into the VS code okay let's open it open views items show fine exclamation mark tab and inside of the body we just put like H1 uh, description ID. Okay. Control save it. And we just start, we need to start the server. Uh, no demo. My rest app.js okay we start the server now we need to go to the local host items refresh the page uh, let's say number three if you guess it a uh, file it fail to go uh this directory let's see what's happening here go to my rest api items we need to get rid of this Control save it. Start the server. Press the base. The Christmas I did. Okay. Now. Uh, it's worth fine. Now we need to take that description and pass it through index AES. Okay. Here we need to pass it. Let's say description here control save it and we go back to the show AES okay here and we just put a uh, open and close the template and just description that ID description that id fine control save okay serving let's see number three fine three uh, four and uh, number one okay we got it we got the root the id to the specific card we need to show now, now we need to show it and here below the H1 we put a H2 okay to show what well open and close we need to show the description that description we need to show the description and after that we need to show open again open and close it but we need to show the description of card model as simple as that okay fine control save it and we also we can add an anchor tag to href to href items items okay and we just put back home we just put back home okay now uh, 
how to create a link to to see the details which uh, we can go to index AGS okay and uh, let's say here let's create an anchor anchor tag okay to a ref to reference to items okay and after items let's see like open and close the dynamically to go to the i that i id okay and just simply show more show more control save it go back to the terminal okay let's see items okay so we're going to impress show more we got description id okay we can change this uh, mm, yeah let's try it up here let's change it description car model and description description okay come to save it refresh show more super impresa back home audit t id number three audit t okay that's fine for now uh, we just got the items uh, we cannot get the show just because we need to create a new car okay submit it and if we got here show more we got a specific uh, route to expand we can see here like pictures uh, and and the particular id that we got okay now uh, we can try like a uh, generate a particular id for every car okay for every item uh, but it works almost uh, the same yeah we just generate uh, the id okay but uh, as we have here uh, a few items uh, we don't need it okay but i'm gonna show you how to do that here let's stop the server and we just npm install a uuid a nice package a npm package and go to the gs file and require okay here we just put like const uh, before to be uuid yeah and it equals to require require uuid okay as simple as that we just call it here like uuid okay that's it and then all we need to all it does it generates a, a particular id for every item you got inside the object okay every time you call this okay it generates a particular id for this and for for this one we save it missing the file save it now um, 
Here, the post row, uh, we don't need to... Uh, actually, we don't need to, to parse it, okay? We just need to to be ID equals to UU ID. Let's see. No. Request that body. No. We just need the ID and the description. We need to in the post route. Let's see. UU uh, ID. Okay. We need to pass ID equal to UU ID just like that. Come to save it. Uh, start server. Fine. Working fine. Let's go to home. So we're in Presa. Fine. We got the specific ID that is generated uh, for every car here okay and uh, let's see let's copy this down ctrl c back home this is the impresa but let's see we are on the on the civic okay another id we get rid of this ctrl b and impresa and that's how it works uh, that's how that's we want okay we need to find the specific id for every element every item every true every comment every, uh, every article are you thinking about to build your web page we find it and we work with them and we render in a show page or detail page for the users to consume okay let's move on to the update route when we need to update some information about the description uh, for example a brand new model uh, for example this shoe is not available anymore this model uh, uh, we got new models new cell phones or something a new description uh, or article you want to modify some article on your blog uh, we need again to provide a form to edit okay this route uh, is interesting because, uh, for example, we just can update, uh, for example, the description uh, and keep the username, for example, or your item, okay? Let's try to focus on the description. Right. Now, first step is to uh, verify because we can use the put or, or the patch okay now what's the different with the put uh, we update all and replace everything okay on the bar instead with patch we just uh, make a partial modification and that's what we wanted okay now let's skip this now let's update the root by app patch using this method okay where items specify the path always id and with the request and response okay to do what okay first of all is try that first send a message like updating our model description just like that okay fine control save be sure to uh, your server is running and we go to postman okay now first we need to specify the rules okay to put patch and we just uh, enter the value for example here 
items and see whatever I did just to verify okay on the body we need to specify the form of the item in this case URL okay let's send and we got it updating our model description okay now uh, let's take actually a uh, step further uh, let's take this id okay we need to get this id copy and paste here we need to find it we need to find the description we want to modify how do we do that okay well let's try it out like uh, first of all let's go ahead and const okay const like new new description yeah uh, yeah let's first of all let's console log console log request uh, by that this description okay control save it and just say second step okay we save it and we go again to a person second step you undefine why because uh, we don't have any data in still okay now we need to go back to the to the to this and we just simply go ahead and we need to add some value over here the key description add some value like uh, this is a new brand model okay updating our model description and we got it here we need to specify the value and the key okay be sure to do that okay if we change here the form data and send it what we got in the console on the fine just to be clear check this and this is a new brand model okay be sure, be sure to check this now let's moving on uh, we can get rid of this to to create a constant okay we, we can say that a new description is equal to request a body that description fine we just copy that this duplicate it let's go down just like that and we say that uh, once we find the ID, we just create a variable called found description. Okay, fine. And then we just simply go there and found description that description. That's what we need. We say that the new description, the new description, the new description, the the that what that we uh, we find it, new description. We save it into this form, okay? And after that, uh, we don't need uh, we don't need to say again this uh, updating our description uh, model okay uh, instead we just need to rest 
to redirect back to where? Home. Where is home? Home is items. Okay. Fine. Come to save it. Okay, now we need to go a again a refresh. Okay. Now here uh, let's say we need to uh, the on the civic we need to copy this ID uh, to find it and then work with it we copy remember we copy the on the civic and we see this description okay we still see the description now we go to postman here and copy the exact ID and we need to see we need to write on the description in the description that uh, it is uh, not it's not available anymore this model for the moment okay be sure we are uh, on this form and we just send it okay we got the index okay and if we go here to the on the civic show okay it refresh and it's not available this model for the moment okay if we go back home it's not available anymore for the moment okay uh, this way we update it and this is the first step uh, let's move on to the second step and create the form to edit uh, your uh, items okay okay first uh, we need to install the npm install uh, this method from express the npm package Okay, once installed, let's uh, run the server. Uh, no, no demo, my first app the GDS. Okay, let's keep the server running. And once we install it, you can put a uh, const uh, and then all of them just to to, uh, to clean your code, but uh, we can do it later. So let's require const method override. Okay, is equal to require uh, method override. Okay, and then here. You just simply use app that use the method override and inside of parentheses you just put something like method just like that okay that's simply uh, it's just simply inside of JavaScript file now go back to the edit ADS we need to uh, on the for action we need to uh, add a method here post fine and as simple as that uh, items go uh, the description is that edit okay now here we just need to get rid of edit instead we just put simply use the method we just installed okay to use the patch okay don't forget to you uh, put the method post uh, and that's it let's save it go to the browser uh, 
okay now our server is running let's see the bmw show more fine we need to edit that we receive the form with the app get now let's see uh, let's say that there there is a new brand bmw and five keep watching the news okay let's see uh, uh, you got a new a new product a new item and you want to edit the form the description the prices uh, let's see uh, you say that uh, it's not available anymore okay now we just save it cannot post items why we need to here items edit description save it ah the same so we need to go back and see what is happening here uh, i think it's something here like the thing is we got something wrong here fine control save it uh, go back to the items uh, let's try out the audit the description the audit is not not available anymore let's save it okay all this will be it's not that I will know anymore fine we got it now we can uh, let's see it's available from this from this week okay you got your product available control uh, until save now save it audit is available for this week fine uh, the last step from our full crew uh, app a restful app uh, is to remove let's say you want to remove uh, an item a description uh, to uh, remove from your list okay this is the last one uh, let's see how it works uh, let's say we want to uh, uh, to delete uh, this uh, description this item uh, it's a little bit simpler than uh, the update form and okay now uh, first step is we want to make it simpler okay on the GS file below index new route create show route the update route okay below here we just put the delete or remove route whatever you want to call it and we just uh, make like app delete get the form to get the form uh, because uh, we just need to take an item out from our array from in, in this case is our array but from a database for example so app delete items slash don't forget the slash okay we need to find and we just go to a request and response as always and the curly braces we need to uh, again uh, find the id for it 
One. Ah. Eh, we need to, um, for example, uh, try to refresh to update to create a new array. As we want, for example, to we want to remove the identity and the description or something else, we need to remove and create a new array. If we want to remove one, two, three uh, items from the array, and only to left is up to you. Uh, we are not mutating. We just uh, create a new one. Okay. Now, how do we do that? Go again to the app, delete. Uh, we need to save it into a new array. Okay. Save what? Okay. We need to find uh, the exact uh, ID, not the rest of ID, but just the exact ID. We just put a method like items that filter. Okay. Let's see. I I that ID find that is not equal to ID just like that okay now uh, let's remember this is a new array okay and we just using the array to fake our database okay we are database is a little bit simpler now uh, once we remove the item from uh, our show page yeah we need to go exactly to the show page we need to, because we need we we don't need to run the another page we just need to ready that with the new array with um, the new list of without the item removed okay Let's see items just like that okay control set this is the first step okay the delete uh, app now we need to go to the home to the show page and add actually the delete button with an action so here we just create a form we just create a form inside we just put remember the method post the method post with an action items slash actually dynamically also description that id this one we got here after the uh, items just like that and we also need okay, one score method in this case is delete okay and after that we need to there is missing missing something here I think it's the same okay here now we need to add the bottom and say to save it okay. okay now save it let's go to the we are looking for the server it's running press the page okay let's see uh, we don't want the super room press show more we got here uh, for description we just delete it we cannot delete uh, why 
that is going to happen here. We just need to uh, let's see if we are missing this. Save it. Press the page. Delete. Voila. The question mark were missing. Okay. Now let's say we just uh, in our store we just for right now we just have the on the civic. Okay. Okay. Let's try to delete the BM file and we automatically redirect back to the items. Fine. Or if it is and the focus okay and we just are adding like here uno this is pure torino stock we submit and we just add and let's get rid of the honda civic fine now this is a, a very simple a, a crude app is a restful uh, route that we apply of course uh, we can send uh, in form of html, HTML form uh, but uh, later on we can uh, work with axios uh, also we can send like javascript uh, stuff to recreate this uh, example is just to show you that express working with express uh, is a very important part of uh, this uh, programming topic as we are uh, faking with arrays and not databases and sending with html forms okay express thing and it just uh, take this form and think uh, to obtain like post and delete rules okay i uh, hope you really enjoy this and keep moving forward and coding bye bye